Okay, so this is a, um, a video for the students. It's a common injury. Uh, we call it a boxer's fracture. The history is a 28-year-old gentleman who punched a wall um, and presents now with pain over the little uh, finger, the ulnar side of the hand, specifically the metacarpal region. So I think the first thing to notice is the flex posture of the hand and um, the fact that there appears to be some internal rotation of the little finger it tends to underlap or uh, sit and want to wrap itself underneath the, the ring finger make a gentle fist you can see how it tends to hook under there it should be it should be tracking next to the ring finger um, so that's on look you can see there's obvious swelling in this area and there appears to be what we call a dropped knuckle make a gentle fist for me so normally you should see bring the other hand up bring this hand up make a fist you should see the four knuckles in a line here you see one two three and this one you can't really see the knuckle because it's dropped down okay so that's on look on feel you can palpate the area of tenderness is right at the distal aspect of the metacarpal and there's a bony prominence here which is not the metacarpal he uh, head the metacarpal head is actually down there this is the uh, the fracture the angulated fracture uh, so that's important and that's obviously the area of tenderness and then when it comes to move open you can see he's got what we call an extensor lag, so he can't lift this little finger up. I can push it up for him, but he can't hold it up there, it drops down. That's an extensor lag as opposed to a fixed flexion deformity. Fixed flexion deformity means that it is fixed. I'm, I would not be able to get it into full extension. So that's an extensor lag, and he has limited flexion. Just turn over, make a fist. You can see how it tends to uh, underlap the ring finger, and therefore there's obviously a rotational element uh, to this fracture deformity um, but he's got reasonable flexion open up so uh, we're going to go across now and have a look at the x-ray so the x-rays of the gentleman with the boxes fracture as you can see from this oblique view uh, it's markedly angulated in a volar direction the students should always think about the four displacements short shift tilt and twist is there shortening if you look at the ap view there's not much in the way of shortening maybe a little bit is there a shift? Not really, not on the AP view or on the lateral view, there's no, there's no sh uh, uh, shift. Um, is there tilt? There's obvious tilt, which is the, uh, uh, the uh, other name for angulation. So it's uh, tilted in the volar direction, so it's apex dorsal angulation. And um, the rotation is a clinical assessment. As you saw from the clinical assessment, there was marked rotation, which is a, uh, a specific feature of this fracture. So this is not an acceptable position. It's too flexed. It's going to cause long-term problems. So the plan is to do a manipulation and K-wire. We normally exceptionally conservative with this fracture. We probably end up operating on less than 10% of these, but this particular one is sufficiently displaced to warrant an intervention. The wire will be placed for about two and a half weeks, no more. At that stage, the fracture will be sticky enough that it will not want to move and we can start aggressively uh, mobilizing this patient to make sure he doesn't get any stiffness.